Good morning. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Here we are last week in March and the equity markets are pretty hot. Let's talk about what happened last week. NASDAQ once again gets above that 5,000 level, a few points away from its all-time closing high, acting very strong. And we'll continue to see this strain in the mid caps and the small cap stocks as those indexes, the S&P 400 mid cap index hitting new high and the S&P small cap index also uh, S&P 600 index also hitting new highs. So we want to talk about a few plays here. Now, a lot of the top stocks uh, in terms of sales and earnings growth, top growth stocks are pretty much extended. However, we still do see a lot of pretty good stocks that have some very good rankings in our system that are near their buy points. I want to go over some of those. Now, as always, consult your financial advisor uh, before you decide if any of these stocks are good for you. So still in, in the medical space, uh, in the biotech pharma space, we have Jazz Pharmaceuticals that broke past the 184 buy, buy point, pivot point, and still within 5% of that area. And that stock could be played, and that symbol is J-A-Z-Z. Another stock is you have Celgene. Uh, went past the 125.50 pivot. It's struggling right around that area this morning. So that might be a stock to look at this morning. Another small cap pharma company is Acorn Pharmaceuticals. That symbol is A-K-R-X. And that's a little bit above its 45 pivot, but it pulls back in that 47, 48 area. That's something you can nibble on. Now, going on to the technology space, you have Facebook that went through the 82 point, uh, pivot point, uh, and that symbol is FB. That's also right near that area. Now, you have uh, semiconductor stock Corvo. That symbol is QRVO, right about above that 78 pivot, still in the viable zone. All these stocks had consolidations, and they're moving out of here. Now, Apple's a little bit extended from the bounce from its 10-week uh, line, uh, right about 121. But if you get, get that pulls in on a weak market, that might be something you might want to consider as well. Uh, a software company, EPAM Systems, uh, the symbol is EPAM. That's, uh, you can buy it here. It's acting pretty tight. Or see if it takes out its high uh, of five weeks ago at 63.50. So there's other stocks that aren't that rated that well, but also worth noting just because of the technical pattern. You might want to take a look at Twitter, TWTR. Uh, if it crosses the $50 level, that's something you may want to consider. And same with uh, JD.com, Chinese internet play, and that symbol is simple, simply JD. Now, as always, that price and volume, be your guide, decide if any of these stocks are for you, and have a great trading week. This is George Kachuk for RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Good luck.